In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to use Atira, a powerful remote monitoring and management platform designed for IT service providers and managed service providers. Atira consolidates IT management, automation, and monitoring tools in one platform, making it easy to manage endpoints, deploy software, and automate repetitive tasks. So by the end of this video, you'll know how to get started with Atira, manage devices, set up alerts, and automate workflows to improve IT efficiency. So let's dive right in. So first, what is Atira? Atira is a cloud-based RMM platform that allows IT teams to remotely monitor and manage systems and networks. With integrated ticketing, automation, and remote access, Atira ensures that IT professionals can efficiently address issues, install updates, and maintain endpoint security from anywhere. So its key features include an all-in-one dashboard, remote access, automation and scripting, and also network monitoring. So now let's proceed on setting up our account. So when you sign up for an account, you will be asked for your company name and your full name. Next is this, which best describes you. So I'm just going to select this first one, click on next. So how many technicians are on your team? Just choose from here. But for me, I'm just going to select one to two. So now you want to add your mobile number. Now, how did you discover Atira? Uh, you can select here or simply select skip. And now they're going to prepare our dashboard. And now, as you can see, this is how our dashboard will look like. We will also be welcomed. So excited to guide you through the Atira platform. So as you can see, it has this remote access, remote monitoring, patch management, ticketing, and help desk, and AI co-pilot. So let's click on Get Started. So now we want to install our first Atira agent. But for now, I'm just going to uh, skip this. So if you want to kickstart your Atira adventure, just simply follow the steps right here. But for now, in this video, I'm just going to walk you through all of the features of the dashboard. So first, let's go to the dashboard. So from here, we will see all of these uh, metrics and performance. So you will see graphs and charts right here. So first, as you can see, we have the ticket status. So we have one open zero pending, zero due today, and zero overdue. We can, only, we can also see alert status, unassigned tickets, recent alerts, availability monitoring, alerts per site, and all of this stuff right here. You can also edit your dashboard. So as you can see, you can click right here on this icon and simply drag and drop them wherever you want. If you want to uh, arrange them like this, you can do so. So we can also edit the widgets right here. Just click on the top right and uncheck all unnecessary uh, widgets that you don't want to see right here. Now let's move on to tickets. So from here, we'll see uh, tickets. We have a sample ticket right here. So let's click on it. So as you can see for this sample ticket, it says help, my computer is very slow. And you'll see your conversations right here. You can also play this time tracking. So if you want to already do this, just select the time tracking. And this is the requester info. So this is their username, job title, their site, their phone number, their email, and the device. So the ticket properties is also here and the calendar events. Of course, you can generate a reply right here if you want to generate a reply using AI or simply type your message. So you can either public reply or internal notes. So as you can see, this is how it would look like. It should be a thread right here to help this ticket. Next is sites. 
we have a an assigned site right here so just click on it so this is how it would look like for the overview you can edit this by yourself you can also go to users and click on manage users and uh, add a new user if you want so just fill up all of this information you can also import users via uploading a csv file so you want to make sure that data aligns with the column headings then save your file so if you want to see the template download the template here first this is assets so you can create assets right here you can import assets and so on now let's move on to devices so from here to see devices you'll need to install an agent so this is the first thing that you want to do. First, let's check the sample device. So as you can see, this is what the device is. Device name is Michael's laptop. This is its public IP and private IP. And you will also see the last logged user. You'll also see when it is last seen, when it is last rebooted, and the date added. You can also see alerts right here, as you can see. So it has this event log in critical. It has the disk usage of disk C as a warning. So if you want to create a ticket, you can just by clicking here. Also see the profiles right here, the scheduled shutdown actions, activity log, and the metrics. So you can also see the hardware, the disks, the OS and security. So what's good about the is you'll see uh the status of your devices online next is alerts so from here you will see alerts let's say you have um a device that is on high alert you can add it you will see it here in the alert section next is app center so from here you can select all of these apps to be integrated with atira so let's say you want to uh, install this work from home remote access. You can do so. Just click here and install it to Atira. Next is network discovery. So if you want to discover your customer's network, again, you'll need to install the agent. Next is knowledge base. So right here, you can add knowledge base. Next is report. So you'll see all of the reports. So it's just the same right here in your main dashboard. So you'll see a bunch of different reports that looks like this, but more detailed. Next is refer a friend. So you can see, just follow this uh, th three simple steps. So enter your email and click get my link. Now you want to spread the word. So share your uni unique link with your friend so that you both benefit and you'll get a reward. So you'll get $250 for your, the first friend, 300 for the second, by the fifth friend, you'll get $500 for each new referral with no limit. So that's basically all of the features of Atira. So to get started, just click here and follow all of these instructions. So if you find this video helpful, please hit like and subscribe. Thanks.